ಗೌರಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ರಾಧಿಕೆಯ ತದಾಲಯೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಕ್ತ ತತ್ಭಕ್ತ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಟು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಎ ನ್ಯೂ ಸೀರಿಯಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಏಕಾದಶಿ ಸೀರಿಯಸ್ ಸೊ ವನ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಟ್ರೈ ಬೈ ದ ಕೈಂಡ್ನೆಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗೌರಾಂಗ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ a correlation of the ancient descriptions of the ekadashis which mainly relate to the kamakanda section spoken to king yudhisthira and the pure bhakti tradition and then also trying to show how it can be related to our time and circumstances in the kali yuga phase that we are in now because this is obviously spoken in the dwapara yuga the third age and it gives also many references to previous ages so how can it be done today how can it be observed today how, what can we learn from these ancient teachings yudhishthira maharaj said o shri krishna what is the name of the ekadashi that occurs during the dark fortnight of the months of pausha december january how is it observed and which deity is to be worshiped on that day please narrate this to me fully o janardana the supreme personality of god had replied O best of kings because you desire to hear i shall fully describe to you the glories of pausha krishna ekadashi a krishna ekadashi here means the ekadashi which appears in the dark fortnight meaning the waning moon cycle which is going towards amavasya the new moon i do not become as pleased by sacrifice or charity as i do by my devotees observance of a full fast on ekadashi to the best of one's ability therefore one should fast on ekadashi the day of lord hari so uh, one little interjection here is that most of us are not used to fasting and if we were to try a full fast then it would be necessary to do a pre fast which is also described in the scriptures so this is like some prerequisite for doing a full fast to um water fast or fruit fast on the previous days so that there will be not a uh, retoxification in the body etc oh you this dear i urge you to hear with undivided intelligence the glories of pausha krishna ekadashi which falls on dwadashi As I explained previously one should not differentiate among the many ekadashis o king to benefit humanity at large i shall now describe to you the process of observing pausha krishna ekadashi one should not differentiate among the many ekadashis not 100% sure what it means here um but they are all similarly glorious and um they are all Uh, hari vasara the day of hari and uh, bhakti janani awakening bhakti pausha krishna ekadashi is also known as safala ekadashi which gives all fruits on this sacred day one should worship lord narayana for he is its ruling deity one should follow the previously described method of fasting just as among snakes sheshanaga is the best among birds garuda is the best among sacrifices the ashwamedha yagya is the best among rivers mother ganga is the best among gods lord vishnu is best and among two legged beings the brahmanas are the best so among all fasting days ekadashi is the best so two things here is said to worship lord narayana of course lord narayana in the form that is one's own ishtadev or uh, the deity to which one has uh, the eternal relationship as revealed by the diksha process furthermore um, here some entities are being mentioned as the best 
and why they are the best because their nature is most favorable to realizing the eternal nature of the soul so the brahmanas there are most sattvic and the sattva is um, most favorable to the development uh, or realization of bhakti and uh, the ekadashi is the best of fasting days because it is the day of the transcendental lord or foremost of kings born in the Bharata dynasty, whoever strictly observes Ekadashi becomes very dear to me and indeed worshipable by me in every way. Now listen as I describe the process for observing Safala Ekadashi. On Safala Ekadashi, my devotee should worship me by offering me fresh fruits according to time, place and circumstance and by meditating on me as the all auspicious supreme personality. He should offer me jambira fruit, pomegranate, bikil, coconut, guava, nuts, cloves, mangoes and different kinds of aromatic spices. She should also offer me incense and bright ghee lamps. For such an offering of lamps on Safala Kadashi is especially glorious. The devotee should try to stay awake all night. Yeah, there we are running again into, say, some slight difficulties to stay awake all night it requires a high level of sadhvaguna a healthy body and mind so it should not be done by force to the extent that there will be severe disruptions uh, the gross and subtle bodies so one should approach this in a sattvic way as well now please hear with undivided attention as i tell you how much merit one gets if he fasts and remains awake through the entire night, O best of kings, there is no sacrifice or pilgrimage that yields merit equal or better than the merit one gains by fasting on Sephala Ekadashi. Such fasting, particularly if one remains awake and alert all night long, bestows the same merit upon the faithful devotee as the performance of austerity for five thousand years, or lying among kings please hear the glorious history of this Ekadashi. So this is quite amazing that um, this fast is um, giving such a result as 5,000 years of austerity. If one is fully able to implement outlined here, 